Good. Yeah, so if we're talking about like um we're talking about like business strategy as opposed to business barriers. Where do you draw the line? Right? Like for some people that I've asked for this business opportunity, they'll find resistance or barriers that may oppose to what their goals are, which is make some extra income and add a service for the services that they currently offer, right? Like for instance, a meal plan company can offer your clients a little bit more uh, ease when it comes to figuring out their nutrition aspects. Mm -hmm. And if you're incentivized to now create more performance and give them more customers, they're going to incentivize you with commission or discount on those meals. Would that not be worth it to now have your time back and not have to spend some time doing meal planning and now focus on that strategy as opposed to, oh, well, the business barrier is it seems rather expensive or, you know, I'm not too sure if I'd want to just stick to this and yada, yada, yada. Entrepreneurs take risks, okay? Entrepreneurs take opportunities and look at the return on an investment as opposed to somewhat, somewhat what a barrier may be, right? And that's what we want to focus on when it comes to stuff like this. So in a sense, like, do you have to just be a yes man um, with cross promotion at first just to like establish That's the, a great question. the connection? Or do you just set the precedent that like, this is what I'm offering you and this is what I want to get out of it like right away? Or do you just build up to that? That really depends on what your end goal is. You have to decide that prior to making choices. Like for myself, I made the choice that, well, I need more time for business strategy, business concept, which involves me working on my computer and communicating with people through emails or creating promo opportunities, right? If I'm doing something like that, that's going to take up my time and I don't have time to do the meal prepping as much. If I do the meal prepping, what is the change on my bottom line? I can't return on my investment that I may be making investing with you guys, with the mentorship or investing with my next business partner. I needed that time. So the time was more valuable than the money. And I will make money back by investing time into something like that. You need to establish that first. I'm not saying that what those other people were saying, you know, generally speaking, doesn't have some validity. What I'm saying is, did they actually weigh out those options prior to being fearful and insecure of an opportunity that may or may not work? So they haven't maybe established that accord or established that component. So there is kind of like a leap of faith at the start. Ish. Um, or yeah, creating those business connections. Ish. You need to know what your end goals are and what you really want to accomplish and what you believe in value. If you can sort that out and you'll find that along the way, but you should have some of the working knowledge to that. That's what made you choose your why into going into business, correct? Mm -hmm. So from there, does it align with that? If an opportunity such as a meal plan company or an apparel company or anything like that aligns with your end goal, which is making income actively with your clients, but also making passive income. If that's aligned, how are you going to find the strategy to make that execute? That's what you need to focus on. Not the insecurities and the fears and the what ifs if it's going to fail and stuff like that. There's failures in life all the time. Remember, you're in control and you've taken the leap of faith becoming an entrepreneur. Now it's your goals to follow in line with that opportunity. Where can you find ways or be very uh, resourceful or be very um, innovative to find those opportunities. And so with that being resourceful and innovative, like um, how you're saying that uh, you're getting value, it doesn't always have to be tangible as like money in the pocket. Right. So as like with the meal prep company, you're getting someone making meals for you that saves you time and money. Right. Um, therefore, you're able to pursue more and continue building on top of that. So it's... Right. Not as much of a downfall, but it is still a need to pay. Of course, yeah, to a certain degree. I mean, at first you may not make that much on the investment monetary-wise, but what are you doing? You're challenging yourself. You're becoming more resourceful. You're finding innovative strategies to now influence others to utilize this opportunity. That's what you're focusing on. Is that not building your leadership skills? Absolutely. Is that not building your resourcefulness? Absolutely. Those things could mean a lot more than the money value currently. A good entrepreneur or somebody who's going to make it in life looks at opportunities and becomes resourceful to make those opportunities exist or to happen. They don't look at the barriers or the resistance behind those things to a certain degree. There has to be some form of 
uh, trusting or having faith and there has to be some form of execution and that comes through systems that I've been teaching you up to this point, right? And those are the things that are gonna really make you successful. With an opportunity such as this, right, I would still focus on building those strategies behind the back end if I'm going to invest in using a strategy such as a meal plan or a apparel company. I still have to have those systems set in place. Do I have emails ready to conversate in? provide this opportunity, to shout out this opportunity? Do I have a, a constant communication stream that's going to allow them to see that, no, I'm being serious about this opportunity and I'm utilizing it and I'm doing it on a very consistent basis. If those things are set in place and I just plug and play or input a new strategy or a new opportunity, you have way more chances for success because you've already set up those templates of success. If you're focusing on that system and now you're just reverbaging it or reusing it with another opportunity, at some point something's gonna bite and it's going to grow because you've done the work, correct? So, yeah, that, that's kind of where you wanna look at it. So, so, yeah, like an opportunity like this is huge. I would never shut the door on an opportunity like that if I have it within me to now look around and be resourceful and be innovative and find opportunities to relay or influence this. And you have to represent that opportunity so you can't be half in. Right? Like you can't say I'm gonna use the meal plan company and not use it. You gotta believe, you gotta use it.